Light Path Technologies, a NASDAQ listed company, provides innovative optical components and assemblies. The company recently announced a deal with Lockheed Martin, which could be a game changer. And with me is the CEO, Sam Rubin. Welcome, Sam. And let's hear about this Lockheed Martin project. This is sounds like could be the biggest opportunity that Light Path has had. Explain oh, absolutely. What it is and why is it so meaningful? Absolutely. Thank you, Jane. Appreciate uh, the time and being here. Um, this project is transformative for the company in, in more ways than one. I mean, first of all, you know, strategically, four years ago when I joined, we set a new course of becoming more vertically integrated solutions providers. So going from selling lenses for $5, 10 $50 to selling assemblies and selling cameras for thousands of dollars, right? And and, and that's very transformative as a company. Of course, four years ago, it was just a vision. This project with Lockheed Martin, in which we're developing a camera that goes into a next generation missile, is exactly the kind of projects we were dreaming of four years ago when we set this strategy. So now Lightpath is making, designing, and soon to be producing a camera system to go into a missile that's going to sell for about five to $10,000 per missile. With 10,000 missiles a year expected in production, we're talking about 50 to $100 million of revenue, mm. which makes it why it is so transformative to us. Not only is this really our new strategy and where we want to go, products for thousands of dollars instead of tens of dollars, it is also for a company currently doing $35 million in revenue, $35 million in revenue a year, adding another 50 to $100 million is transformative. This is doubling, quadrupling the size of the company. Now, this project is a very fast track project, simply because the army is running out of Stingo missiles mm -hmm. and needs new missiles. And so what usually might take four to five years is being condensed into two to three years of development. We recently finished the first year of development and hit a major milestone of achieving flight worthiness criteria for our cameras, meaning we are now working on building and shipping cameras that are actually going to go into the first missiles. They're actually going to fly out. So we did all of that in a year, something that usually would take two to three years to achieve. Um, this is a development project, is a seven and a half million dollar project by itself that already we got four and a half million of and more to come in the next phase. But really the big deal is going to be about a year from today, September 2025, when they start actually doing a shoot off between Lockheed Martin and Raytheon, at which point the army might already choose a winner. If the army chooses Lockheed Martin as a winner, we are the sole source of this camera system. We're talking about an initial order of possibly 11,000 missiles with, again, five to $10,000 per missile. So we're talking about a year from now, potentially getting the first order that could be 55 to $110 million for the first order. Mm. And again, for a company today doing 35 million. Yeah. True transformation. <laughs> no, absolutely. And a chance to prove your concept and uh, perhaps lead to other businesses as well. So congratulations yeah. on that. Now, I understand you have three pillars of growth. So you've got, you know, projects like the Lockheed Martin. What are some other areas you're looking? Yeah, at? definitely. So with the transformation, with the shift in strategy from the components, lenses, all the way to assemblies and cameras, come a whole new slew of opportunities. And that really generates for us, if you would, three drivers of growth that are completely independent from one another. One of them is doing cameras and projects like the Lockheed Martin. A second one is the automotive. The NHTSA and the Department of Transportation Institute of Highway Safety announced a mandatory rule requiring all new cars starting in 2029 to have automatic emergency braking systems that can identify a pedestrian in pitch dark conditions. Mm -hmm. The only way to achieve it is thermal imaging. We've been working on this for over three years now. We are already qualified by one of the largest car companies out of Detroit. So our optical assemblies are already qualified to go into automotive. 
we're talking about tens of millions of cars a year that will hit the road starting 2029 with a thermal camera in them for detecting pedestrians. Mm. Our unit price per car is between $20 to $50. So again, you know, this is almost the opposite of the Lockheed Martin in terms of how we reach it, but we reach the same number of revenues. So with $20 to $50, $20 to $50 per vehicle and millions of vehicles hitting the road, we're looking at, for us, potentially north of $50 million a year in revenue from this part alone on the automotive. And go ahead. Well, I was just going to ask if Light Path would play a role in self-driving vehicles, because it seems like that thermal technology would be something that could be used in the robo-taxis. Yeah, definitely the same technology eventually is going to make it into self-driving. Mm -hmm. um, currently, we're looking at lower layouts. We're looking at just driver assistant. I think it's a much more achievable layer, uh, achievable goal in the near term. It's much easier to integrate another camera into the car, just like we have a backup camera and you know a uh, parking camera. So adding one more camera into the car is much, much easier than adding a whole layer of self-driving and everything that goes with that. Yeah. Um, but just going back to your question about the pillars of growth, the third one is the defense business. And specifically, we own exclusively a material that replaces germanium. And germanium is a key material, key, in, key critical mineral coming out of China that China is limiting the export of. And the U.S. heavily depends on China for that. We make an alternative for it produced here in Orlando. It is already being qualified by DOD. It's a critical aspect in what is today hundreds of millions of dollars of materials that are being imported from China every year. Hmm. And uh, what is that? Is it a rare earth mineral, I guess, is, is what it would be? What is uh, it? Critical, critical mineral, so okay. not as, uh, as rare as a rare earth mineral, but it is one where... China controls 67% of the world supply of that. The rest of the supply comes from Russia, even worse, if you would, if you would in terms of supply chain uh, issues. Um, it goes into hundreds of millions of dollars of infrared imaging, night vision imaging, semiconductor, fiber optic, you name it. It de the U.S. depends on it for so many technologies. Mm. We cannot solve all the problems. We're solving the problem for optics, which is 25% of the consumption. Mm. It's estimated that the U.S. imports as much as $600 million a year of germanium. Okay. So possibly as much as $150 million only for optics, yeah. where we have the exclusive solution for that. Now, it sounds like you had some really big ideas a few <laughs> years ago and they're starting to come to fruition exactly. so but what do you look for to let's say in 2025 some of these projects uh, being able yeah. to sell so what's your strategy next year yeah absolutely i mean it's definitely a very satisfying time right now all the hard work of the team for the last four years is now resulting in in real um, deliverables and in real revenue we expect in 2025 to see a massive growth in our camera revenue Today, the new revenue of where we're going in terms of solutions is already 20 to 30%. We expect it to become, in the next few years, a dominant part. In two to three years, it should be 70% of our revenue. Later in 2025, we expect to hit the next milestone with the Lockheed Martin project, which would bring the next follow-up order for that. We have a new project in the works, the Apache project, which is another airborne system, also possibly tens of millions of dollars of revenue. So we're starting to see some big chunks of opportunities coming through, and we expect to be able to share that with our shareholders and stakeholders in coming months. Okay. Well, I look forward to getting updates and, and interviews with you as uh, some of these Thank projects you. come online next year. So Same here. Thank Sam. you. Thank you so much for the update. Appreciate it. And congratulations on your success. Excellent. Thank you, Jade. Thanks.